Hello there. Welcome to yet another wonderful time and a wonderful day with me, Bishop Mike Laju, on daily words and prayers. I bring forth the blessings of the Almighty upon you on a glorious day such as this, and I decree that the goodness of God abound towards you non-stop in the name of the Lord Jesus. I pray for you that the God of heaven will set you above your fellows. I pray for you that the God of heaven will lift you beyond your wildest comprehension. I pray for you that the God who never sleeps nor slumbers will do exceeding abundantly above all that you can ever ask or think of in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God honor you, God keep you, and God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Today, I want to begin a series along the lines of Generation X. <laughs> Generation X. It's a mystery which God in his sovereignty knows how perfectly to bring into manifestation. A mystery is that which is beyond the natural understanding of the common man. For scripture declares that the secret things belong to God. The things that are revealed are for the sons of men. There are certain secrets to life that are known only to God. But when they begin to be revealed, they become a reality in the earth realm. And that's what God will have me to begin to bring us into. The mystery to X, Generation X. And I pray that the God whom we call upon will enlighten us and bring us into speedy understanding of the deep truths along these lines of scriptures in Jesus' mighty name. For a text today, I would love for us to read just a rather long passage of scripture but very interesting. Found in the book of Genesis, chapter number 41, reading verse number 50 to 52. And Genesis, chapter number 48, reading from verse number 12 on to verse number 20. Follow closely, I beg of you, in the name of Jesus. It will do you good in Jesus' mighty name. Scripture records in Genesis 41 verse 50 And unto Joseph were born two sons before the years of famine came which Asenath, the daughter of Potiphar, priest of On, bare unto him. And Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh. For God, said he, had made me forget all my toil and all my father's house. And the name of the second called he Ephraim. For God had caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. What a word. What a word. In Genesis chapter number 48, reading from verse number 12, scripture records, And Joseph brought them forth from between his knees, and he bowed himself with his face to the earth. And Joseph took them both, Ephraim in his right hand, towards Israel's left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand toward Israel's right hand and brought them near unto him. And Israel stretched out his hand and laid it upon Ephraim's, stretched out his right hand rather, laid it upon Ephraim's head, who was the younger, and his left hand upon Manasseh's head guiding his hands 
wittingly. For Manasseh was the firstborn. In verse number 15, and he blessed Joseph and said, God before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac did walk, the God which fed me all my life long, unto this day, the angel which redeemed me from all evil, bless the lads. And let my name be named on them. In the name of my fathers, Abraham and Isaac, let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. And when Joseph saw that his father laid his right hand upon the head of Ephraim, it displeased him. And he held up his father's right hand to remove it from Ephraim's head unto Manasseh's head. And Joseph said unto his father, Not so, my father. Not so. For this is the firstborn. Put thy right hand upon his head. And his father refused and said, I know it, my son. I know it. He also shall become a people, and he also shall be great. For truly, his younger brother shall be greater than he. And his seed shall become a multitude of nations. And he blessed them that day, saying, In thee shall Israel bless, saying, God. Make thee as Ephraim and as Manasseh, and they set Ephraim before Manasseh. What a word! What a word! I want to begin to express to us the mind of God when I speak about Generation X. X is one of the letters. In our alphabetical order. It's the third letter. To the end of the alphabetical order. In the English text. But the truth about X. Is that it stands for a lot of things. The mystery to X. Is unbelievable and we will come to it by the grace of God as we look into scriptures <laughs> X stands as a symbol for many things when you come before electrical installations and gadgets whenever you see the sign and the symbol X it stands for danger. It represents danger. There be a generation that are dangerous, and that the devil must not touch and cannot touch. There be a group of people that are dangerous and that can destroy anything that comes their way. Generation X. And I want to speak to you along the lines that you don't know who you are until you discover who you are in God. You can't discover who you are looking at yourself. You can't, you can't discover who you are based on the people you hang out with. But you discover who you are from He who made you, who created you. And He created you as a generation X, a generation that is loaded with so much power, capacity, and ability that anything and anyone that touches you can receive such a shock that it can electrocute a person. So it means 
stay off. And that's why the Lord Jesus declared in his word, God said, touch not my anointed. Touch not. Woe to him, Jesus said, who betrays the Son of Man. You have touched danger. And any one person who touches a naked wire has touched that which will bring forth a shock and a destruction upon his being. There are certain persons that are untouchable. Generation X. I'm coming to you. We'll take it one step at a time. In medicine, whenever you see the symbol X, it represents that which is poisonous, which can kill not friendly at all. <laughs> so yeah, they are not to be taken. It's not every head that can be taken. It's not every body that can be eaten. It's not every person that can be destroyed. Whoever dares to take you is taking danger, is taking poison, and can destroy them. And never forget this. In education, when a teacher marks the script of any of his students and the symbol, the letter X, is used, having gone through answers to any question, once that symbol of X is put on any form of an answer, it represents fail. Failure. <laughs> and I like it so much because there's a generation X, a generation that appears to have failed in the presence of men who have presented life's questions before them. And these are the generation that God wants to pick up and make to become a huge success. For just as beauty never comes out of beauty, but beauty comes out of ashes. So success never comes out of success. Success comes out of failures. There are a group of persons who have failed in life. And people seem not to want to have anything to do with them. These be the people that the Lord wants to raise and make to become a people of great success upon the face of the earth. Never forget, it's all about Generation X. In Christianity, we find out that X is, as it were, nothing but the sign and the symbol of the cross. It's the sign and the symbol of the cross. And the essence of Christianity in its entirety is nothing but the cross. And the mystery of the cross is the mystery of salvation. Is the mystery that moves a man from one point to another point. Is the mystery of the four ends that reaches out to the four ends of the earth. All these I'll come into as we begin to look into the mystery of Generation X in the name of Jesus. But above all, in mathematics, X, even the symbol X, always stands out as a question. Always stands out as a question. And as I speak right now, maybe your life appears to be a question to me. A puzzle that needs to be solved. And people don't know who you really are, what you really are. The mystery to life is God knows how to make you who is a nobody to become somebody. For the mystery of X in mathematics is nothing but a functional unknown in every calculation. And in the calculations of life, you might be unknown, you might be unidentified. 
Yet God says, when he's done with you, when he's through working with you, you will always turn out to be something awesome upon the face of the earth. I want you to stay tuned with me as we look into the mystery to Generation X. How God takes a nobody and transforms him into somebody. It is nothing but the mystery of metamorphosis. How God takes a little lever that is called a caterpillar that turns into a beautiful butterfly. That's what we want to look into by the special grace of God. Generation X. How God takes he that has gone down and raises him to the topmost top. That's what we are talking about. Generation X. For scripture says, he that ascended far above the heavens was the same one that first descended into the lower parts of the earth. My God, it doesn't matter what you are, who you are, where you are. Out of that demotion will come forth a promotion. Out of that decline will come forth an acceleration into the high heavens. Out of it will come an upcline. Out of that dissension will come forth an ascension. Out of that oppression will come forth a promotion. For even though you've been demoted, even though you've been pushed down, God will raise you up. Out of darkness comes light. Out of nothing comes greatness. Out of poverty comes riches. And this is that which Jehovah in his sovereignty knows how to bring to fruition. That's why I say to you, the mystery to X is unbelievable. If you will stay tuned with me along the lines of this series, which I will begin to breathe upon even from tomorrow, you will understand that God is about to take you from where you are to where you ought to be in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the design of the Lord, the Bible says the new day began from darkness. Every day never begins with a day light. No, every day begins with darkness. For you see, the Bible says the evening and the morning were the first day. It begins from a dark season into a very dark season. And then the light of God even the sun of righteousness begins to shine, takes away darkness, and light manifests. That's what a day means in the presence of the Lord. And it's at 12 midnight that one day gives way for another day to come. What a word. Which means God sent me to say to you that a day, even for the next level of your life, is going to show forth, not in a time when all appears to be well, but in the time of absolute darkness, which represents confusion, which represents puzzles, which represents questions. That is when the new day begins for you. For indeed, in the way of Jehovah, it is out of a miracle, out of a trouble rather, that a miracle shows up. It is out of a trouble that a miracle shows up. For light shines out of darkness. For the Bible says, the creation was necessitated because darkness was upon the face of the earth. The earth was without form and void. And the enemy seemed to have ravaged the creation of Jehovah. No wonder Jesus in his sovereignty said, The thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I am come that they might have life and have life more abundantly. It therefore means when your life happens to be and appears to be like a puzzle, that is when Jehovah shows up to begin to work something beautiful out of your life. And to everyone under the sound of my voice, I beg you, hear me well and hear me real good. You are none other but Generation X. Nobody knows who you are today, but something glorious will be made marvelous out of your life, even in your tomorrow. The beauty of your glory is about to be revealed. Stay tuned with me and hang in there, knowing that Jehovah will do exceeding abundantly and above 
all that you can ever ask or think of. Greatness is coming out of smallness. Beauty is coming out of ashes. Promotion is coming out of demotion. Oh Lord God Almighty, if for nothing, health is coming out of sickness and diseases. Gain is coming out of pain in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Laughter is coming out of every chair in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rejoicing is coming out of every sorrow and mourning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I say this to you, the God you serve is about to turn you into a thing that you have never ever dreamt you could become in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. For greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Your condition is not your conclusion. Something awesome is about to take place. Hang in there and keep a date with me. Even same time tomorrow, 12 on the dot, God will show himself strong and mighty by bringing us into the mystery of generation X. Until I come your way, share this video with some persons and press the like button. Go also to my YouTube channel, Bishop Mike Laju TV, and subscribe for free. God will bless you immensely. Never forget this also. Every day for you will be a plus and not a minus. In Jesus' mighty name, stay rapturing me. God bless you and God keep you. In Jesus' name.